Ladies and gentlemen from the Microsoft Theater here in downtown Los Angeles, brought to you by Sean Porter Promotions. Who the fuck are you? It's this guy. That's unbelievable. Then let's go. Let's just leave that in here. Yeah, uh, let's leave it in here. Welcome to the Porter Podcast, everybody. Sorry, uh, I got, apologize. Got extremely hostile, <laughs> just like last night. You, 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 you still recovering from last night? Uh, what happened last night? Well, at the, the crowds. Yeah, oh man. Yeah. Nah, man. Hey, shout, hey, shout out to Frank Martin family. It's all love. Shout yeah. out to my cousins. Hey, it was all love. They showed me a lot of love. That was not my lady next to me. That was Frank Martin's family. Yeah, let's start there. Uh, <laughs> I want to apologize publicly to Derek James. <laughs> we'll get to that. And we're so, we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that? Yeah. Uh, no, of course. Nah, we're going to recap the did, fight. He disrespected him a lot. Of course. Nah, no, 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 disrespect him, but... I looked so so I said it was the second round, maybe? Yeah. Was, First round. Uh, yeah. No, second, no, second round. Second round. round. I, said, I said, I said, I said, come on, Revere, pop that jab. Jab one, two. He got on your ass. And James looked back at me like, who's Who's who over here on our side is speaking like that? And so I was like, I said, yo, coach, I just want a good fight. That's all. I just want a good fight. You know, he did not like that. I wouldn't have liked it either. And I didn't like it. It is what it is. <laughs> I didn't even like when you said Riviera or something. I'm like, bro, we over here. I ain't oh. saying no Riviera. You said something about him. Pop- French Riviera. Yeah, you said I something. I just said pop the, the jab. The family wasn't two. feeling it. They wasn't feeling it. But hey, I want a good fight. I would have turned on yeah, you too because I, I wasn't going to be a victim. Derek James, <laughs> to, to be fair, and again, we'll get to that. Derek Man. James, I think he thought it was kind of yeah. funny because he'd like made a joke yeah. about yeah, it. Yeah, and I, and I shot right back yeah. at him like, hey, coach, I just want a good yeah. fight. But yeah, uh, I was just like, man, it's a lot of heat. <laughs> it's a lot of heat in here, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And then behind this, we got people fighting. And my woman kept turning around looking. I'm like, stop looking because then they're going to talk to you. And then I'm in it because they talking to you. You know what and I mean? So Carson got to get in it because you in it. Then I got to nah. get in it because Carson. You know, it. I'm falling. <laughs> but the night, but the, but the night started off peaceful. We were yeah. talking about your son. Yeah, your son. You you went to the pediatrician. Went to the pediatrician. Yeah. Uh, how many how many trips is this to the pediatrician? I don't know. I feel uh, how many. I you feel like I've been a lot. It's yeah, like supposed to know. Nah, daddies don't know that stuff. Three? Uh, no, it's way more. Twenty three. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we've been there about uh, six uh, six times. Said you got to put him on PED. Yeah, so yeah, you know, when last <laughs> month we had no results. My man still. Uh, What's the result? Not positive. 30, 30 pounds, thirty two inches at and eleven said, months. And said, "I need five pounds every time I go." Yeah, I want <laughs> five yeah. to ten. Answer's gonna start feeding him butter. Yeah, so that, yeah, it wasn't. And shout out to my boy uh, Stefan. He watched the podcast. He said, "Man, hey, my man, my kid just turned two. We got some clothes we want to we can give to you." Oh, you go. Uh, my kid's bigger than his kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, 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 he said, he, he, "Oh, well, that ain't gonna work." Yeah, to see we in two yeah. T's, baby. Look, his son towers over my son, but he can't talk to my son. <laughs> I know. And some people be looking at him like he ain't walking. Yeah, like no, he don't walk. He's I'm waiting baby. for him to drive. <laughs> drive. <laughs> That's what I'm waiting on. But hey, listen, this is our end of the year episode. Just yeah. so y'all know, yes. this is the last episode we'll have until after the Tank Davis fight. We do anticipate having the Portaway Podcast there live. Frank, Frank family outside right now. <laughs> We do anticipate having the Port Away podcast yeah. at, uh, at, at in DC live uh, for, for for our week of lives yeah. um, during the week of um, that Davis fight Garcia. that Tank, Tank, uh, Tank Davis and, and Garcia. Uh, but with this being our live show, as you can see, we got Ant with two T's always in the building. And then we got Carson named Merck doubling back two weeks in a row. Mm-hmm. It's been the block. Child and then Darryl. we got another one. Don't worry about that because we go. Oh, oh yeah, 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 we got yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. How you but we got we got another special <laughs> guest. Um, very, very uh special, near and dear to the Put Away yep. Podcast. Y'all been asking Y'all for been it. Y'all been asking for it. Best guest ever. And it's back. He 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 here. <laughs> he better he here. Oh God, is that Sean's I tells music? Oh, oh, look at him. Get it off. Get yeah, it off. Get it off. Over the top. 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 Get the defense. Where the defense at? I already know he's sweating. I already know he's sweating. I already know he's sweating. Oh, Floyd. That's Floyd. That's Floyd. Never turn your back to the camera, all right? So sit down. That was hilarious. So, so how was that? <laughs> They're gonna clown me so hard. For nah, that. it was good. Worth it. To be fair, no, none of them can do it, and Ant and I can do it. Yeah, I don't think Sean nah. could even do that. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, Sean ain't got that no more in it. Not Ooh. that shirt. No, never had it in me, man. I hated shadow boxing. Yeah, that you, shirt, I'm about that say, shirt you never looked like a great shadow box. <laughs> no, I hated shadow boxing. Seemed like you didn't want to do it. Just didn't want to do that it. That shirt was split in half, like just the Incredible Hulk. It. Especially on the what the fight days or the whatever. What the hell was that? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Media yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, media workouts that. doesn't seem like fun. But, but hey, listen. Sean, Sean really did just want to see a good fight, though. 
I just I, wanted to I, see I know you do because yeah. I know you and I know yeah. that's the truth. People, you got to know that. And, and so, so here's what you got to know about me is I always root for the underdog. And when he I was the favorite. On, it doesn't <laughs> no, matter. He was Martin losing was, after I the first out. round. Was he? At the books, yeah, yeah. If every, I think in the boxing world, it felt 50-50, but yeah. Martin, yeah, Vegas knew. <laughs> Vegas knew. I, I, I just thought Rivera was going to show up but, and do something – the only Something other time else. I even, and again, we'll get to that. We'll get to what Zaitel's been up to. But the only other time I felt obligated to to cheer for somebody just to make it an entertaining fight was <laughs> when we went. And, <laughs> no, when we saw uh, Butaev and Jamal James. And I was uh, like, yes. just throw the jab out there, please. I <laughs> beg of you. Yeah, just throw the yeah, jab and move. Know. But what else, Zaitel? Yeah, what's, what's been, been up, up to, man? Bro? It's just Talk awesome. To Thank you guys for having me. You know, love you, fellas. Um, yeah. Just thanks for having me back. No doubt. Yeah. Hey man, how do they, how do people reach you? I'm tired of people hitting me up. Uh, put all your socials out there. Let them know what's going on. Yeah, I'm where tired they can of people find, asking where me. they can find the content on Fight Hype. I'm, I'm awful at getting back. You know that's just yeah. that's just me. Uh, I got I probably got about 45 unread messages from family and friends. Uh, I'm great once once I'm in person, but uh, <laughs> you get me on the video game at home and I'm awful at getting back. That's just the truth. But yeah, let but, the people uh, know. But anyways, I'm you know I've been doing my thing on of course on FightHype.com where I've been for years and doing recaps, round by rounds analysis. And, um, you know, I, I, I've been pretty touched by the reaction of the fans of the, of the show for, for, you know, missing me. And I think that'd be the same reaction for any of us four, you know, especially, you know, Sean, right. Is the unlikely. Yeah. But well, Carson, when you stepped away for a few weeks, they were really upset. And yeah. if, and if Ant walked away, it'd be the same thing. So. I think Sean's the, mo- the least more the they least complain like. about. Yeah. I think they're good with all three of us. Well, he's, you know, he's, he's the gimme. Like you, you expect yeah. Sean yeah. Porter to be on the Porter way podcast. This is yeah. true. But, but uh, no, it's, it's been awesome. Been doing some Z caps. Yeah. Yeah. It's, <laughs> I like the name. Recap is yeah, my last it. name yeah, begins yeah. with Z. Shout, it. shout, shout, shout to Zabu- Tell Zabu- us about it. Zabumafu, yeah. Z-mail. <laughs> you know, it's just, you know, it's just fun to recap the fight, especially, you know, having been there at the fights. Yeah. And then sometimes I can go over the interviews we had with the fans, you yeah. know, and pause in moments where I think, you know, the fighter said something important. And it's just fun to go back. And then the chat gets lively and everybody has questions. Everybody wants to know, you know, who do you think wins this fight? Do you think this fight happens? And so that's that's basically what the Z cap is. And it comes the morning after we do the live round by round. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, yeah. It's just, yeah. I've enjoyed them when do I they, pop do in. Do they ever ask you about the Port Away podcast or something? Like? Every single time. <laughs> every <laughs> time. So I told you, somehow I skips those comments. <laughs> I, I just, I basically have to every time. And yeah. I basically, I have to now too, you know, but I, you know, I love obviously, you know, fighthype.com. And I yeah. love being with you guys when I get to be on the show. So it's just, it's a blessing to be here. No and doubt. at the end of the day, man, we always see you out at the fights and we, and we spend time. You yeah. know what I mean? So no doubt. at the end of the day, what everybody sees, and I've been saying it for a long time, we are friends. And, yeah. you know, even though we do this, like nothing else ever changes or ends between us. You know what I mean? So we talk, um, we talk every day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't yeah. I mean, I read, don't, I read what you got. I pop day. in here and there, you know, yeah. 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 <laughs> where do we, uh, where do we want to start? We gonna start the fights yesterday. We were all all four of us were there. Mm-hmm. Um, triple header, yeah, on Showtime. We came in late for the big knockout. Yeah, uh, Astrolabia. So those like, those guys from the Philippines, man. Yeah. You can expect them to have a certain level of explosiveness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, may, maybe they're if you can counter punch them, get them to think twice, get them to make adjustments, mm-hmm. then you can have your success. But mm-hmm. if you can't make them adjust, they, they just usually more often than not, you know, not to stereotype, but coming right. from the, they have a a blend of speed and power. They're explosive. It's overwhelming style mm-hmm. that a lot of times gets over, gets gets the best of guys. Unless, like you said, you force a guy to uh, make an adjustment. I've seen some of the Filipinos that I've seen lose in the past is because guys are moving away from them, force them to use their feet and not just that one step to, to explode, just like you just said. So, yeah, you're right. Um, we're walking in. I think it was the seventh round. When we were walking in, and then b- before we even made it to our seats, the fight was over. Yeah. Mm. But, and they come with a certain level of hunger too yeah. when they to the ring. Yeah. You know, you could just see it. It's <laughs> interesting because it's it's hunger based on like where they come from and what they uh, what they expire to be. Excuse me, but then it's the extra oomph of Manny Pacquiao. I want to be the next Manny Pacquiao. I want everybody to remember remember me like they remember Pacquiao. So those guys are always the Filipino fighters are always going to be hard to beat. Uh, the ones, you know, that are on that level. And they're always going to be exciting to watch because they watched Manny be exciting. And so this is almost like they don't know how to not be exciting. Yeah. You know? What was interesting there is, you know, how, like how much of it is 
uh, the Pacquiao influence and how much of it is they, they tend to, to fight in that style, you yeah. know, you, regardless of the influence of Pacquiao, yeah. because, you know, Rachel and Nonito Donaire, they explained to me the style's called Barra Barra, which is, uh, you know, back and forth. And it's, it's like a street fighting uh, style. Da, da, and that, da, 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 da. That's yeah. what they, yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. So, Gotcha. Shout out to Rachel. I, yeah, and I and I and I know for a fact that the Manny Pacquiao is very um, uh, is a big influence over there. A lot of fighters even fight southpaw, not being left handed, or uh, not being left hand dominant, and it's because of Manny that's, Pacquiao. That's a little much, but it, it could be. Yeah, Astro Boy, he beat Rigo last fight, so I have I have a certain distaste for him. But <laughs> he he's, an explosive, go, he's an explosive fighter. You always hold it against the guys who beat your favorites when they're past their prime. Of right, because you're like my guy would have got it done. Yeah, in his, in his you know, nah, 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 you gotta let that go. <laughs> no, nah, not that one. But <laughs> what fight did that man fight at? What was he at? One eighteen. One eighteen. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he won. Hey, they he, said I think he, uh, Emmanuel he, Rodriguez is who they're maybe thinking might from, be from uh, Puerto Rico. Yeah, yeah. guy. Well, guy yeah. only. That's a hell of a fight. Yeah, he only lost to you know Inoue, which yeah. is you no know, shame, shame there. there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's the and he just beat Gary Antonio Russell. Yeah, so he's but yeah, Inoue better duck both of them. Yeah, we should also touch on that because he. First hey, off, man, let it go. No, because we didn't get to talk about it yeah, the week yeah, yeah. before, and then dominates Paul Butler, and then it looked like Butler didn't really go there to fight mm -hmm. particularly. Why are we touching on it? Because in a way, is now undisputed. Oh, well, I think he, he mentioned 122. Yeah, he decided, and it looked like the 11th round. He's like, you know what? I'm just gonna knock this guy out now. <laughs> it's just he kind of came out. He had a little bounce to him out of the corner, and then that was it. But yeah, yeah he's undisputed. I would love to see him move up to 22. Um, Raiz Halim be a fun fight. Cool boy Steph be a fun fight. Steph's the one. That's, yeah, that's, that's the, the one, one. that'll tell us everything Man. we need to know. Yeah. yeah, that's the one. But yeah, in a way, closed out a great year. For, for Butler speed. though, like, what do you do when if you do try to win, you're just gonna get knocked out quicker? Yeah, when you, it's a, it's a tough Man. situation for a guy. When I him. saw like some some people from his team, maybe I'm not sure if it was his wife or girlfriend or him, they were like, and they thought he wasn't even make it out of the one the first round. Oh, I was like, God. okay, like <laughs> congratulations, <laughs> I guess. But you know, it's funny. Yeah. Anyway, to me, even looked a little weight drained in yeah. dominating yeah. that fight. Yeah, I was say didn't lose a round, just went in there and did what he does. But um, and yeah, so I think going back to 118 is actually a nice division, especially if Inouye moves up to 22, obviously opens up all the belts. Um, and then Coman yesterday. And Fulton, by the way, said he plans on coming back to 22 after, after that. Figaro. Right. Oh, oh, Carson. You on alert, motherfucker. I would love it. <laughs> that, fight, that fight. That's the fight. I would actually prefer that fight over You'll go? Spencer Crawford. You'll pull up New York? No. Hopefully it'll be here. <laughs> but Oh, this is crazy. Coman, that's that's ridiculous. crazy. Look at it's that. underwhelming really? is what it is. is it? <laughs> yeah, it really is. Okay. We're all good genetics. Yeah, we're all, shout we're shout all, out to Kenny Porter. Good genetics. Yeah, we're, all, we're all proud. Yeah. Uh, Comain, Comain last I'm night. I know. I hope. Oh, Clay versus uh, yeah, Shishkin. Yeah. Um, Sugar Hill. Shout yeah. out to him in the corner. Hey, yeah, has, Sugar Hill was the hey, best part of that fight. He really was. Why? What, what was he saying in the corner? Well, that's a good question. Ah. <laughs> so he had he had some kind of a, like a key word system. Ah. So he was saying random words like touchdown was one, Puff Daddy was one. Take that. Take that. But the uh, a lot, yeah, a lot of in Andre Ware, I believe, was one yeah, was the old Houston of, quarterback. But low the right foot, I remember that one. Yeah, it, yeah, just and it's it's cold. It, it's great because it's funny. It's not common, and so when coaches hear it, I remember hearing it when I was a kid. There was there was a guy that would yell to his fighter, grasshopper, grasshopper, and what he meant was leap and left hook. Mm. We didn't know what it meant, and so we were just like grasshopper, and we laughed it off or whatever. But so you got caught with a leaping left hook. Never, never <laughs> that. But to my point, it is it's it's very um it's 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 a very good strategy because everybody knows what you mean when you say jab. Everybody knows what you mean when you say counter the counter the counter right hand, bring it over the top, you know, all those simple expressions that we all use, you know. So for him to and and you know, I start I'm 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 like, all right, he says something. Now let me watch his fighter and see if his fighter makes certain moves and certain certain adjustments. And so I actually do think that when he says puff daddy, he means go forward, take that, take that, take that, meaning take that 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 real estate away Carson from dancing. the fire. Carson, Carson dancing. <laughs> no, it's already gone. Oh, no. Too slow. Oh, Here, I'll do it again. No. Take that, take that, take that. It was groovy. He looked like Mace. Um, he said, what was the other one? He said touchdown. Yeah. I think touchdown was straight right hand. Mm. Um and then uh, I remember when he was saying load the back the the he's saying load the right the right foot 
And I think what he meant by that was really sit low on that on that back foot and wait for the counter and come back. You know, so I was just really trying to read into it. But I mean, if you're the opponent or you even the coach and can hear that on the other side, too much thinking. now you're spending yeah. your time yeah, thinking too about much that. Thinking, man. All the while, they have their strategy and everything is implemented and is going. The fight to me was was. It was kind of boring, yeah. yeah. But but it was cool hearing Sugar Hill in the corner, yeah. And uh, and 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 and, and also seeing his fighter, you know, make pretty, certain certain moves and adjustments. Pretty, pretty one sided. Uh, yeah. it, it was honestly a, the easiest way to break it down was it was a matchup of quick straight punches and wide Loop. slower punches, yeah, looping. It. Which it was just like Uskadi is throwing these wide punches, Shishkin's firing down the middle, and that's kind of it. Uh, it was yeah, it was very boring. I remember I said to Carson at one point, I said. Can you believe this guy went 12 rounds of Caleb Plant? Like, yeah. this Caleb Plant now, I don't think he lasts. No! no. This Caleb Plant's yeah, on no, a mission. Caleb, yeah, yeah, Caleb now would have. You know, y'all know I always yeah. gave Caleb a hard time, but yeah. this Caleb, I've seen, he, he's regenerated himself. Yeah. He's on a mission. Well, I think Uskotik, he's also probably not quite what he was. Yeah, that's yeah. true. He was a world fought. champ. Yeah. He was a world what'd champ. You, so what do you think about the fight from. overall, Zato? Uh, Shishkin did his thing, uh, walked him into a lot of shots. It's just, just like you said, the sharper puncher in between the wider punches of Uskotik. Uskotik has seen. You know, better days. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we knew that after Lonnie B as well. Yeah. But uh, Shishkin, you know, keeps he's moving his way towards the IBF mandatory. He'll, he'll never get a Canelo fight. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Everybody's you know? calling Canelo out. <laughs> right, yeah. right, right. But but you got to do that. Uh, but no, good performance. And, and Sugar Hill, we, we might have got the best two trainers in boxing. Definitely two of the best, you know, yeah. if not the best. You know, and Sugar Hill and Derek James back to back. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I'm even now... Now, I, I can't tell, you know, gym secrets, but I'm thinking of all the fighters and all the special terms they've had in the gym uh, yeah. to call the jab, to yeah. call uh, pivoting off and all mm -hmm. that, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's really not that common, you know. I think it's starting to become a little more uh, common now. Well, I know Virgil Hunter has his terms. Yeah. Uh, yep. Point, yep. point, point, mm -hmm. I guess, is with your lead pivot foot or mm -hmm. stuff, you know, yeah. very, very technical stuff. Bill Haney. Yeah. Has a million of them. I already knew. And, and yeah, I, I want to share some of them, yeah, yeah, but I'm not. Can't I don't get yeah, mad at can't people. Do no, no, yeah, can't do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I don't think we need to elaborate much on that fight, though. <laughs> no, it was, um, like it was something you said about the trainers. It was, I never, you know, we, we we're a fan of the sport, but we're also a fan of like the ins and out. Yeah. It was great to sit back and listen to Derek James and Sugar Hill last night. Yeah. yeah. That was different for me, man. Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, yeah. yeah main, right, huh? I never main heard nothing like that. Yeah. Main event was, I mean, I thought it was going to be a close fight. I think everybody did. did. He kicked his ass. That's, that's, that's the easiest you're going to say. Yeah, I know. That was respectfully. respectfully is what he did. No, yeah. I mean, never mind. I, I mean it respectfully. Yes, yes, yes. He did not do it right, respectfully. Right, right, right. But, um, yeah, it was, I thought it was going to be a close fight. I We all, I think all three of us, I'm not sure if you. I did I think pick Martin, Martin, but I thought it yeah. was going to be a more competitive fight. We all fight. leaned yeah, Martin. I, I thought Martin was maybe going to have to play catch up. Yeah. yeah. It know? wasn't a fight a year we expected, but no, I can't blame Frank's oh, side for that. Because we Michelle didn't show up. Yeah. Yeah, it was. No, uh, he showed up. It was he just Martin was up. that much better. Well, yeah. Okay. Is he, it? I'm going to break. Kind of. I kind of did this. Like, I feel like he comes in first 10 seconds. He fight at an eight pace. Then he goes, put in cruise controls, six or seven, the rest of the fight. Yeah. And at the same time, you got Frank fighting at an eight or nine, sometime going to 10. Yeah. My man just stays here yeah. the whole time when he's going up and down. Yeah. It, it, it looked to me like. Um, it looked to me like like Michelle never got started. Wow. And it also looked to me like he didn't know how to fight against a southpaw. Well, he, the jab is how he gets started, right? The jab and is how he gets southpaw started. Southpaw kept parrying it down yeah. and yeah. couldn't get started. But but beyond that, why are you just one jab, one jab? Why aren't you double jab? Why aren't you one, two, and then step over for yourself? He had no moves that counter a southpaw's moves. And what I mean by that, you you were talking about him being in the center of the ring and getting around yep. Michelle. It's because Michelle doesn't know how to step off. If you don't step off, the guy gets around you every time, you know? So, I mean, just the simple, basic things in terms of how to maneuver. But I mentioned another yesterday, his, in Rivera's base was really wide. Like his feet yeah. felt really wide. And so Frank is, Frank, he mentioned when we had him on a while ago that he, like played go. other sports, so he's oh, just like that, when he caught him with the left. Yeah, up. he's just he's a good, really good athlete. Round. So he just has like naturally really good footwork. Obviously, he's doing putting work in with Derek James, but he just has these natural like mm -hmm. flowing movements. He's an athlete. Yeah, do you play football? I think he said when we had his him cousin on. was linebacker for the Cowboys, Jalen Smith. Yeah, you know, and, first cousin. And so he ends up. It was just like Rivera just couldn't couldn't figure it out. And going to 
to the Derrick James and aspect. That's, and that's, that's like the, the, the worst mistake you can make against the southpaw is reaching with your right hand yeah. and miss, and you're right in line for the counter. Most southpaws are counters by nature. And they come right back, right Michelle's there. Michelle's a, a softball too, right? No, he's no, orthodox. orthodox. Okay. Yeah, Did but I kept hearing you know shit about boxing. I don't. <laughs> I shouted uh, Roger Mayweather. Yeah, uh, but I kept hearing uh, Coach uh, James kept telling him, telling Frank, don't, don't, don't reach. Over, yeah, don't, don't reach. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. Don't. For the opening, the opening bell. Yeah. He was a, a little, a uh, little excited in the yeah. moment, and uh, I think maybe two or three times he reached and coming back to the corner, yeah. he's like, "I got you, yeah. I got you." I already knew what he meant by "I got you," you know, and he he made his adjustment, yeah. but. Just going back to Michelle, I just don't think he he was ready for a southpaw, especially not one as explosive, as skilled, uh, as skilled offensively uh, and defensively uh, minded. Um, just, just. Uh, uh, I didn't have. Look at back. I, did you, anyone have Rivera winning around? First, Maybe first two. round was a field Maybe out two. round. I think the one third. other round in there was the, a little close. I think the third. But I'm that fine with twelve zip. Yeah, I thought it was twelve zip with yeah, the knockdown. Twelve zip. Yeah. Um, yeah. And one thing I want to give Rivera credit for. No doubt. Is that. At a certain point, especially in those last few rounds, he knew every time he committed to that right hand, he was going to get countered yeah. by a left hand. Yeah. And yeah. he kept throwing it anyways. And yeah. he kept stepping into it when he threw it. You know, yeah. he, he never stopped throwing half-hearted shots to get the guard. He knew every time down the stretch he let that right hand go, he was going to get picked off. And, and to his credit, he kept trying to win. And you know? that's why that's why I said he never got started because earlier in the fight if you if you do that and you know what 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 the punt the return is going to be you're fresh enough to make the the move and come right back early on he was not stepping forward with the one two he wasn't stepping forward throwing the straight right he never got started at the end of the fight it was i got i got to do what i have to do yeah. and then he, is when he started to kind of and you know, work as as lopsided as the fight was, he easily could have kind of punked out down the stretch, and he didn't. That's what I mean. Yeah. You know, he kept like, committing to the shot, that's knowing where, I'm probably gonna miss, probably gonna eat one. Like that's but, one where you're getting you know. shut out, you got dropped, where you can kind of at the end just be like, okay, I'm just gonna, you know, survive. Yeah, just kind of board it up and and head home. But no, he was still in there. But Frank Martin, my goodness, yeah. is he good? Yes, he, he's doing this right now. He's yeah. taking off. He's and Michelle just met him at a bad time. Yeah. And Michelle Corner got out coach. You ran into the Phil Jackson of boxing yeah. when it comes to X and O. And and Derek, man can do it. Derek James, I, I tweeted that it was it was just cool, like you mentioned, it, seeing him up close. But so he again, none of us really had Rivera maybe winning around, maybe two if we're being generous. And Derek James wasn't good with that. He was he wanted him to up the tempo. Yeah. Like even later in the fight, twelfth round. He's and like when I looked at him, when I said that's how it goes, you're like, oh, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. <laughs> at the end of the fight, you turn it up and you get the job done. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, but Derek James, man, he is. If there was, if I had any doubt, which I didn't at all, yeah. who the best trainer in boxing yeah. was, it was very much validated yesterday. I think but, what he wanted for the last three years from me and, I mean, and Carson. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, I mean, Frank, he beat Rivera in every which way. Yeah. He beat him with better footwork, subtle footwork, yeah. too. Not, yeah. not jumping around, yeah. just subtle, just stepping yeah. over, stepping over, stepping off off the double jab every yeah. time. Yeah. I asked him after the fight, was that was that like the Errol Spence, Derek James special, that touch, touch, you know, touch, touch, boom, straight left to the mm -hmm. body? Because we see mm -hmm. Errol do that. He said, no, that's just that's just what it called for to break the guy down. While we were again, watching you know, the fight, I kept thinking to myself, am I seeing a version of Errol Spence Jr.? And I kept saying, no, I'm, I'm not seeing this. A, a little a bit, not as much as Keyshawn Davis. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not seeing a, a version of, of Errol so much as that. I think that's just him, you know? Yeah. Right. Frank is is just, he is a lot like Errol, but he's just explosive. Got a lot of different moves. They're both good athletes, I yeah. think. Yeah. Outside of boxing. And everything. I mean, it's just, he did everything. He led, he yeah. countered, he punched in between punches, defense. Landed the bigger shots. Yeah. <laughs> Landed more shots. Yeah. yeah he was... Hey. He was unbelievable. Came yesterday. out to Boosie. Hey, yeah, came yeah. out to Louisiana Boosie. Louisiana yeah. home, so you know, we I, I, was hype. Yeah, I know. We was all I, moving I, over yeah, there. I wasn't expecting that. He's a tough fight for anybody at Lightweight. Haney, Stevenson, Tank. What are you doing? For any of yeah, them. What, what are we doing? What are you, what <laughs> are you, this is my favorite part. Yeah, what do, what do we like next? I, we, Cruz. I'm, Cruz. Cruz. He beats Cruz. Because yeah. he can walk him into shots. Absolutely. I mean, I don't mean I don't mean disrespect. Cruz yeah, is a tough guy, yeah. fight for That's anybody. A tough fight. Yeah. But he Frank is a more versatile. I don't even want to talk about it no more. I, I'm 50-50 on what about, in yeah. life. So. so some of these other fights. He's uh, more I'm, versatile no, no. fighter. Oh, you got sure, 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 yeah. sure. Oh, okay. like, Martin and Cruz? No, no, no. Who, who you who you want? Oh, I'm, uh, Martin for the record. <laughs> but um <laughs> so I we I mean we bounced out early. I think somebody mentioned he called out Roley in the post fight. I'm okay with that. Roley wants to fight his promoter instead. Yeah, fair enough. We saw Roley yesterday. look at me, man. I'm not no match. I'm not no matchmaker. Roller your Spence, who you got? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, and this was one, I mean, we mentioned, we actually asked the question on the show, like him and Keyshawn, if that's a fight that makes sense. 
that, obviously that, that we, politics. We're, we're three to five years away from that. Yeah. Fight. But so the, the, let y'all know these now. companies don't come they're, together when there's not, a million belts on yeah, the line. Yeah, and they're he not going to do it when there's and, nothing and, on and the when line. We had, when we had man. Frank on last week, he thought he was going to be angling to fight Raul Valenzuela. Yeah. Who ended up getting knocked off. De Los Santos. Yeah. I, I don't mind the De Los Santos fight. No. Um, That's a good fight. I got three. I got three fight for him. Go ahead. Roley. Mention Roley. Yeah. Cruz. I feel like he's just, every time he charging pit bull. <laughs> That's yeah. a really good fight. He's going. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, Entertaining, I mean. It's action. Yeah, for sure. exactly. yeah, yeah. And then uh, Chris Colbert. Oh, I'll yeah. Take let's that. Go back to that he, Chris he, Colbert. He kicked Chris Colbert. Damn. Dude, you got to go back to New York one day. No, I don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I, I, yeah, yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> yeah. I, hey, hey. I, didn't, I didn't love that matchup when they mentioned it originally. I just. Well, you want Colbert to have some momentum heading into yeah, that fight. Yeah, I, I right feel like now, Chris Colbert, yeah, like, nothing. you're coming off that upset loss. No, I don't want yeah. you to go in there with that guy now. Um, so yeah, I, I don't hate that fight down the road. Maybe build him back up, make get him feeling good at one thirty five, yep. and then kind of get back to I, it. I was just kind of do stuff that's possible. Yeah, know, yeah, basically. and all three of those are possible yeah. for sure. Um, oh, and Tank is well, it, there's I mean there's they they've I've seen them spar together. It was fun to watch. Yeah. Um, so I yeah, I wouldn't I can, yeah. yeah. I heard some inside information about that, but I heard it. You don't heard, know nobody. No, that, yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I, you was there, right? I was. I heard it was great. It was. That's all. Uh, you said I, that already. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, hey, I got so, I got hey, inside repeat what I repeat no, what you just no, said no, a second no, ago. No, no, huh? no, 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 no. I'm yes. gonna say this. Frank if, uh, Tank wasn't didn't, wasn't like dominating him. I would say. I, I don't want to say too much. You, was, just, did you say anything? You, know, you ain't got nobody yeah. on his side. Sure, <laughs> that's a, that's a that's past that. That. I'll say y'all off, oh. off the record. Yeah. Hey, for three ninety nine a month, I will give you inside. Shout <laughs> out to the hey, remember Patreon, hey, Patreon.com hey, slash back in, day, back in the day, wrestling, three ninety nine a month. It'll yeah. get inside info what's going on. Yeah, I'll just go. say, for real? To, to take our man Barry Hunter's phrase, shout out to you, Barry. Love you, man. Merry Christmas. Yes, sir. Um, yeah. It was, it was TV ready. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, I, I Frank Martin is, is becoming a star. Yeah, right got, before got, eyes. Got the promoter, Errol Spence, in the building. Love to see that. But where we want to go now? We want to go into awards? Did uh did uh did you happen to catch what Errol said? I know he went. I on. saw uh I saw just some some quotes and some clips of it. Okay, but, but he didn't he didn't talk about the next fight or anything like that. He is said he's looking to get back in maybe May or June and mentioned possibly oh, wow. April. We stopped um, the poor he man wasn't on an sure escalator after, after the car accident. He, oh, he yeah, said yeah, he's yeah. just getting yeah, back. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah, we 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 we, we stalked him like paparazzi on it. You gotta yeah. get it how you can get it sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And, but, <laughs> <laughs> not, I'm just doing my job. Yeah. I tell was dressed up as a trash can, and all of a sudden yeah. just popped out. I was like, "What do you think about Terrence Crawford?" The next, after all, <laughs> hey, listen, we talked about this dude coming in here dressed up as Santa Claus. I said, "I'll get you the suit." No, that's all right, Sean. I got it. I'll get the suit. I, I, and I started to check with you uh, two days ago. Like, yo, did you get, end up getting the suit? He's the why, skinniest. Why he needs to be Santa skin, Claus? Yeah, the skinniest Santa it, Claus of all he, time. He, we, we had this little skit. It was like Friday after next. And he like was going to be Santa Claus. He was going to be Santa Claus. Like, know? ho, 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 Jermel Charlo had a <laughs> wonderful performance. <laughs> oh, what do no. you want? For I'm per- glad that didn't pan out. Yeah, me either. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Skip past it. Do we, we want to go? Do we want to go uh, do our awards? Yeah, we got awards for you uh, for, uh, for oh, we're the people. Out. We're not, out. not for the people, oh, but yeah. you know, okay. we we picked our we picked our awards. Yeah, we picked our awards um, just based over the year uh, what we thought boxing ended up looking like. Yeah, um, album of the year, Stillmatic. I'm, I'm <laughs> album really of the year for curious. me, Forever Story. I'm really G-I-D. curious to see what, like how different our picks look. Yeah. And how familiar they are as well. Okay. So Do we uh, want who? Hey, anyone be, have one? They they're gonna be mad. Be, before we go into this, I, I will say. So. Uh, Besides getting Spence Crawford, this was a great year of boxing. I don't know how yeah. you guys feel about it, but I felt like from the women's side, we got some fights that we wanted to yeah. see. Some fights we didn't want to see. Oh, some no. fights w- we're still not bo- happy about. Overall, I felt like this yeah, was a great year of boxing. There it is again. You're unbelievable. Hey, Take it what, easy. What, what was your, what, how did you feel? God, that's five you feel push-ups. Like you didn't get fights you wanted? <laughs> I, this I, I, was a horrible this, year? This year was underwhelming. How'd you guys feel, the fans? Because how'd you guys feel? No, please don't. <laughs> don't tell them to do that. Yeah, my my uh oh, cool. oh my yeah, they, god. They wanted me to do that. That is again. underwhelming. Just show you guys that. Are we really impressed by that? It's real. Please leave that in the comments. 
Because I'm highly underwhelmed. The back of the, uh, oh my gosh, oh, there's yeah. no definition there. No, no, no. There was no definition. Go ahead. Zytel, I was as smooth as this. I said I was hi- Zytel, I said I was hype about 2022. You said no. No. They, Tell me why. The ladies delivered. You know, yeah. they they lit the three best fights in women's boxing we wanted to see, we got. And yeah. they all delivered. Yeah. Mayor Baumgartner, Shields Marshall, Taylor Serrano. Mm-hmm. But in the men's, you know, Canelo uh, taking on Bivol and Golovkin, still two top fights, especially Bivol, you know, Tremendous credit to him, but yeah. you know, I think the bigger fights would have been had he went, you know, the PBC, PBC thing right. and done, you know, Benavidez would have been a big pay per view. Charlo would have been a big pay per view mm-hmm. in Texas. Crawford and Spence was was failed to be delivered, so that fight couldn't come through. And then when you compare it to this time last year, we were coming off of you and Terrence, Canelo and Plant, uh, Fury and Wilder put on the best heavyweight fight. And, and you know, you look at how we closed this year, it wasn't nearly as strong. So, yeah. but I do think 2023 is going to be a much stronger year than yeah. 2022 was. So here's what you can't do uh, whenever you come on the Port Away podcast. <laughs> you cannot shit on boxing, okay? He didn't. I'm not. He was I'm giving not. a real, I, I, if there's anybody that loves boxing, <laughs> it's that guy yeah. right there. If we don't, it, we can't be enablers. Yeah, we got to hold it accountable. You know what I mean? You can't. Yeah. Say you're doing great. You're doing great when you're not doing great. I mean, yeah. We all know that they're going to do what they're going to do anyway. This is so. true. true. That's but, true. So I, you mentioned the f- the best fights. We want to go fight of the year first. Does that make the most sense? Fight of the year. Fight of the year. Who wants to start? Is it Taylor? I, women. Uh, for women, Taylor Serrano. For men, Lubin and uh, Fondora. No, 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 no. You don't but, get both. All right. Uh, no, I'm just messing. Go ahead. I'm just messing. <laughs> I'm just messing. Who's your official pick? I'm messing with you. Lubin and Fondora. Okay. okay. Just, uh, yeah. Uh, all right. Fight of the year. I'm going to go uh, Serrano uh, Taylor. What are we so, talking about? Uh, fight, fight of the, of the year. year. We just said fight of the yeah, year. Yeah, multiple times. Yeah, too. I'm going to say the, the women The women stole that, and I'm going to go. Uh, that was a great fight. Who'd you Taylor, Taylor Serrano. Ooh, you went Taylor Serrano. Yeah. You went? You know, I got I to gotta go Taylor Serrano because it was for the titles. It was for Undisputed, and, and Lu, I'll go Taylor Serrano. Lubin, that Lubin was Fundora. a good that was Lubin, a great Fundora, fight, Fundora, runner I'll, up. I'll yeah. go where you went. I had Fundora and Lubin yeah. as, as my fighter, my fight of the year. And we were there for that yeah. one. And we were there for that yeah. one. So Carson I, was cheering for uh, Fundora. No, I was cheering for Lubin. That was one of the few times I got out of my seat in a fight. Yeah, I seen you. Um, okay, Carson, what you got? Right. I'm a hype. I actually, I actually have Charlo Castaño, too. I'm not mad okay, at that. Yeah. I that thought was, about that one. And that was one. We Ant, had it last year. Yeah. And, yeah. Ant and I watched that one together. And that was yeah. one where I was actually like on the couch. Like, whoa, this is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it was insane. It was a great performance from Charlo. And after, I think, coming from the the fight before where I think Charlo maybe underwhelmed us a little bit. And Castaño, I think we all thought either won or got like a draw at the worst. Mm-hmm. I think Charlo elevated his level. Castaño elevated his level as well. And then. Um, yeah, it was a great matchup. But a great, I thought that was the performance too. of the year. Yeah. But Charlo kind of made it almost a little too one-sided for me, you know, have That's fight. Fair. But that yeah, was I'm the performance of the year. Yeah. Charlo. Yeah. I thought, um, just real quick, uh, for, for Sebastian Fundora and Erickson Lubin, I thought it had, like, all of the uh, ingredients to being a, uh, just a fight of the year, great fight. I mean, it had the drama. It had the knockdowns. It had the blood. It had... Everything you wanted to see, and then on top of that, you didn't really know who was going to win that fight yeah. at certain points in the fight in the match. You know what I mean? Uh, the fight ends. Uh, was was the was the towel thrown in to yeah. end the fight? Yeah, and then and then you could see that even though uh, Sebastian Formella he he Fondora. Fondora, excuse me he went through some adversity, he still was able to weather the storms that came his way. Ended up lumping up Lubin yeah. in the fight, and 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 you had to throw the tile in. You, know you still, mean, to buy, me, that's a, you still got Sebastian Formella nightmares in your head. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't even stop. It's, I mean, to me, that 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 is like the ingredients to you know. A, a and fight I think of the year. with the girls, Katie Taylor and Madison Serrano, I think they set the tone. They sold fight out was, the that fight was so they sold out good. the uh, Madison Square Garden. Yeah. They set the tone for women boxing for the rest of the year. It was nothing but action packed. Yeah. They, they threw exactly nine hundred eighty nine punches between both of them. And uh, obviously, I think Katie hurt, hurt her late, but it was just, it was, you know, I, I don't know, man. I don't, I, don't, I don't like it. I don't buy it. You know what I mean? It's just whenever you spit out stats, I'm like, you think he's right, making cool. them up? You did your, you did your research. All right, oh, cool. I got it. I thought cool. you thought he was oh, yeah, making yeah, no, them no, up. I got, yeah, I got numbers. I got numbers. But, you know, like, at least if you like, if you say, well, they do, they do like 900 punches like that, you know. Just that it was, just that it was very exact. He was very exact. I know, I know. I couldn't believe I'm like, y'all ain't get to a thousand. But, but yeah, no, it was a hell of a fight. And then after the fight, immediately it's rematch worthy. You know, we get the 10, 10 rounds, two minutes. But mm. I felt like 
usually in women's box, I'm like, man, I need a longer round. Yeah. I felt like I got my worth got out of that round. Two minutes, man. exactly what you wanted. Like, yeah. they gave us everything they had. So, shout Absolutely. out to the women. Yeah, I, that's why I felt that was my fight no of the year. No doubt about it. What do we want to uh, go next? Anyone have anyone? Fighter of the year. Fighter of the year. I, I think, think this was the easiest one. Us. Yeah, I think all four of us. Dimitri Bivol. Oh, yeah. They, I got, they, I got they, they, Bivol. They, yeah, I got Bivol. Who the hell do you have? Oh, you make no. I, got, uh, I got myself. Yeah. Yeah. I got my, I got Bivo. I got you got myself. Anthony Bernard. Yeah, like, why you, why you, yeah, Bivo. I mean, yeah. Uh, and yeah. honorable mentions to you know Haney and Bam Rodriguez. Those, yeah. are, my, those are my next two. I did think about Bam. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Haney and Haney going over there. Yeah, and, young champ. And Haney. 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 twice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but Bivo, man, that's the guy. He beat the guy. He beat the guy pretty Easy. comfortably. And then, and then, in for a follow up, fights Zerto. Oh my God! Whatever you think of Zerto was, Be whether his record Whatever was bloated he or not, he was he was not. Yeah, and he, he again dominated. And, and those two fights, Carson, what you say? He lost six rounds, maybe. Yeah, Damn. yeah, he's Bevo is he's unbelievable. Let's hope we get the better BF fight. And one thing I'm hearing from people around he's that better fight BF too. You th- yeah, I think I think more people favor Bevo. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, but that that's still a. Um, amazing fight competitive fight yeah you know but what i'm hearing about that fight from people you know in the business they're worried about how do they make that fight when both guys are going to expect a good payday for an undisputed fight yeah. but neither one can really sell tickets in north america yeah so they're wondering will we take this thing to dubai or Abu Dhabi? we can't put the fight in russia where it really would sell right, right. now because yeah. of what's happening in russia ukraine sure. so right. we even though they're going to do what they're going to do, I guess we, we might have to apply a little pressure on <laughs> yeah. the zone and top rank to, to yeah. make the fight. They'll figure it out. Yeah, hope, yeah, they will. Yeah, that would be that'd be a great fight. We you, you had Bevo as well. Yes, all yes. four of us. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That that was one that didn't require. Who, who do you guys have? Fighter yeah. of the year. Fighter of the year. Got to be Bevo. We um, all have Bevo. No, he's talking about the fans. fans. Talking to the people. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and then I think a lot of people <laughs> might have Bevo in this one as well. Upset of the year. You know, I was oh, tempted nah, to, but you picked it. I actually, I don't I actually didn't. I, don't got that. I wasn't surprised. Yeah, I don't got that. No, I got that. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't got that either. Yeah. yeah I, 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 I was going to actually maybe make that pick, and that's, well, well, wait, but Carson wasn't surprised, so that ruins it. And yeah. then I looked up the odds, and Canelo was only a two to one favorite. And yep. then I looked up Hector Luis Garcia against Chris Colbert. Hey, oh, that's what I'm Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. All four of them. <laughs> and it was a 25 bunch to of females one. in here, yeah. yeah. yeah whatever, 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 whatever. That that fight and that, that Chris Colbert Garcia fight, it was we were we were there and we were stunned. Man. And we just kept thinking, okay, Colbert has to figure this out. He's fighting this guy on, on late notice. Hector Garcia, to be to his credit, at the time wasn't a very well known commodity. Mm-hmm. And man, he dominated him from beginning to end and dropped him. Mm-hmm. It wasn't competitive at all. At all. Man, he looked like the A-side. Yeah. Here's the, and, and here's the truth about this fight. It doesn't take somebody having a complex style in order for you to be thrown off. Yeah. It just takes you not being prepared mm. to be thrown off. And so even though we look on the surface and we see that Cobra has the better uh, skill, the better talent and things of that nature. Great speed. Mo- mentally, he just was not strong enough to weather or or to make the state stay focused and whatever adjustments he needed to make. It was like he couldn't see him. And then before you know it, two rounds are in the bag and he can't do a thing. Yeah. And it's just because mentally he was not it there. Was, it, it's funny because it almost doubles as the upset of the year and almost one of the most lopsided fights of yeah. the year that went the distance because he dominated them. Like yeah. He literally had him crazy. on his back foot the whole fight. The whole then fight. dropped him in the seventh round? Yeah. And was that for uh, Cobra's WBA title? That was for was, uh, to get uh, to get him in line. To get him in line, then, then he, he beats beat Roger Gutierrez, Gutierrez to okay. become the full champ. Turn, yeah, and actually, obviously, and then he fights Tank. I up. actually think with the Tank fight, he's gonna do good until he gets until yeah, the inevitable. He will comes. good, yeah. Take but it, I think he's gonna get, get off good work. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, in. He he certainly. What'd you say? He gonna get sleepy? Yeah, he gets. Everybody gets sleepy for sleepy. Tank. Deep it's sleepy. Weird. Yeah, people get sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> like like you throwing a punch, all of a sudden Roly got yeah. sleepy. Yeah. Like what the? But I like that. Yeah, I like I, it's gonna or be. Or sometimes just sleep. Yeah. 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 Like you're that. either sleepy or you're just <laughs> you're slept. <laughs> and then you wake up drowsy. Rosy. Yeah. Oh. Rolly was drowsy going back to the. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Shout out to my man Rolly. Yeah. Oh my god. But and next one, prospect of the prospect year. Prospect of the year. Uh, who you guys have uh, upset? I think they're gonna say that in the comments. I don't think you need. You to never know. know. Yes. Um, shut, shut up. Just you shut never up. know. You never know. It's the people. It's <laughs> what comment, for the like, people. subscribe, hit that note, that bell for <laughs> notifications. Yeah. 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 And you know, hey, you know, <laughs> Hafey's gonna have a stupid pun for some kind of punch thing about Dang, the subscriber. Shout out to Hafey, man. To Hafey. Get, Get well soon. soon. <laughs> um, what do we uh, prospect of the year? I think we actually might have a variety here. 
Maybe. I, we thought that before on a couple of these. So we've I all feel like the y'all two are on the same way. Like, Me and Ant? What you got? Go ahead, Zaito. Just Keyshawn. I'm keeping it safe. Okay, so you Keyshawn got Keyshawn Davis. Keyshawn Davis. Keyshawn, and then you have? Who do you have? Well, who do you I have? I don't have Keyshawn. I don't have Keyshawn. And I gave it to Jared last year, yeah. so I'm not giving it to Jared this year. Do we, do we both have? Mm. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think we have the same one. Who do you have? Tiger, Tiger Johnson. Tiger Johnson, okay. You got us a week. I don't know. I don't have, ti- <laughs> I don't have Tiger Johnson. Oh, okay. We got no. Xander. You guys, top rank, drinking the top rank juice over here. Diego Pacheco. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Who I think might be the youngest of the fighters we just listed. 20? He's 21. He might 21? be 20. 21. Okay, 21. This year, four wins, yeah. four stoppages. I like um, him. From yeah, South I'm, Central, LA. Like, yeah, I'm a big yeah. fan of him. Working with working with Benavidez, big right. fan of him. Super great kid. Yeah. But great the guys kid. you listed all were right there for me. I also have a tough time. There's not... Somebody needs to break down some criteria for prospect of the year. Because yeah. I'm thinking of like guys that come to mind. I'm thinking Yoelvis Gomez. He's a little bit older. He's only got five fights. Yeah. Robesi Ramirez. He's like maybe getting a title fight. So yeah. he can't be one. Yeah. Right. Um, but Keyshawn, Xander, those guys are obviously. I mean, I was tempted good shots as well. to just write top rank prospect. roster. Yeah. 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 You know, but yeah. but then, 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 you know, they're going to say we're, you know, picking yeah. sides. But, but yeah, yeah, Keyshawn Davis, man. Keyshawn, that's uh, the, he's the real deal. I think he I'm made not, he made a name for his state, himself in the Olympics, we would say. Yeah. And he's been busy since last uh, December. He fought four times. Yeah. Seven and oh. Uh, guy's doing his thing, man. I'm yeah. happy Delonte got a mention, too. though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. You're you're thank you doing your yeah. thing, too. Delonte is fast. Delonte yeah. is fast. Right? Yeah. 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 I picked Delonte, you know, obviously uh, a little bias right there, but... I just think that of the guys who are coming up right now, you're right. Like, where where exactly do you land as a prospect? Yeah. To me, it seems like you're like right there on the verge of going for a world championship title, which none of those guys are. Yeah. And then so I went with Delonte Johnson just because I think that he's sharp. He's been very consistent fight after fight. So Shout I mean, Saffle, Prentice, it was simple Prentice for me, you know. Yeah. And I want to show my boy some love. Too, yeah. You know. But yeah, no. He no. turned pro on my on my um when I fought had my last fought fight. Bud, yeah. Yeah. When I fought Bud. So. Yeah. I mean, you can't go wrong with any of those yeah. prospects. Who you guys got? He's Prospect long, of the year. Yeah, he's long. Like, yeah. comment, subscribe. <laughs> but he, he, I know he's, he's, what, he's like 5'10 at 147, yeah. blazing hand speed, yeah. and, and got that pop at the end of the shot. I'm not sure if she, would, if she would fall into the category of a prospect, but Carolyn Dubois had a nice stop. Yeah. Had another yeah. good yeah. Uh, performance yesterday, but... Um, what did oh, she? Dang, she fighting a lot, huh? What did she? She yeah, just she fought. Be, yeah, she just fought. Yeah, yeah she just fought. I guess um, the women's box. Sky Nicholson. Yeah, as, uh, mentioned absolutely women's boxing. Yeah, but la- is this the last one? Last hey, one. hey, hey, hold on, hold on. What? Hey, why ain't you like this yet? Like <laughs> You're an idiot. Get off. <laughs> uh, knockout of the year. Uh, is it gonna be a clean sweep again? Yeah, I don't it's think so. Clean sweep. Clean is sweep. it? Clean sweep. Nope. nope. Not for nope. me. Clean. That's how start us off. His name is Caleb. It's Caleb. Kayla yeah. Plant. You have Plant, right? No. No. Uh-uh. Okay. I, I don't get it either. And you said, oh, did not have Kayla Plant. Well, let's talk about He Kayla was, Plant. that one was my runner up because. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Because first off. Well, hold on. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Well, we can talk about that one yeah. first. First off, extremely unexpected. Yeah. Not, not to Kayla disrespect Plant. Caleb's yeah. power, but if we thought he was going to win, he was going to outbox him. Yeah. And all of a sudden, that was a really like rugged, competitive fight. I thought Caleb was winning, but it was rough. I mean, and then all of a sudden, Boom. Lights were out. Yeah. That boom. made me more excited for the David Benavides fight. Yeah. Cause he's gonna have to make a statement early and step on it. Why was like that, that why was that your pick, Zaito? It was well, quick question. Is that technically a one punch knockout or a two punch knockout? Because he touched him to the body with the hook first. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, that's a one punch knockout. Okay. Because yeah. okay. it's still the, the misdirection to the come up to right, come up. Right, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you, I, you know, know. I know, I know, I know. Uh, why did that get the win for you, Zaito? Just uh, you know, beautiful shot. And I actually I think you know, uh, Lee Woods knocked out of Conlon was a good one. Joe Cordina. Knocked his ass out of the ring. Knocked, right. Joe Cordina had a good knockout. You know, even uh, what, what Anue, how he blitzed on there and Joe Joyce took out part. It was a lot of, you know, some good knockouts. Well, those those were accumulation, not one punch shots. Yeah. I think the celebration got to put it over the top. <laughs> and, and I saw, and Caleb mentioned, there's been other fighters, like I think a UFC fighter did it now that is starting to, right. people are starting to do it a little bit more. It was his version of Jorge Masvidal. Yeah. I'm not an MMA guy, but that was a yeah. celebration that went viral. and He started it up. And just a sweet one-punch KO. Yeah, you know? big time. What do you think, Ant? I, I looked at... Hold on. Can, can I do my thing? I, 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 you well, I, 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 looked at, I, I looked at Wilder's fight against Hellenius. And I mean, if there's a punch that is just kind of that phantom punch situation, yeah. there it is right there. 
I didn't even choose this, so I don't know why it's in there. Did you? Oh. Bingo. So after uh, being out of the ring for <laughs> more than a year, my man came up here, came back and he made a statement. Yeah. Wilder. And, and it wasn't even a full extension. It was, he, he did a, he, he let us know why he's our heavyweight champion of the he world. Has, well, American heavyweight champion power. of the world. Yeah. He slept, my man, in yeah. the first round. Yeah. Blink, you would have missed it. Yeah. yeah. Inside, that, inside. That, that was my number two to yeah. Caleb Plant's knockout. I just think that speaking to that fight, I think the caliber of opponent was not the same as yeah. Anthony Durrell and Caleb Plant. You yeah, sound so. impressed with Wilder, though. Like, you shouldn't be able to get away with that, Deontay. You didn't even have your leverage on. You were backing up. Yeah. And you oh, just touched him. God. Yeah, he's Man. unbelievable. He's yeah. dead. It's, it's unreal. Yeah. And, and boom, we back in the ring, hopefully, in February. Yeah. Like, get, get right back. Yeah. And he wants all the smoke. Like, yeah. he'll, he's, he's, he'll fight Ruiz, but he kind of wants to fight all these I guys. do believe that, too. Yeah. yeah. I do believe that, too. Zytel, uh, Zytel mentioned my pick as well. Cordina and Ogawa. That was one where it was just one of those fights where I had it on. I wasn't like super locked in on it. And I was like, holy <laughs> shit. He did he did the little dip to the side, right hand. And that was that was all she wrote. He was coming in there as the underdog. Ogawa was the champion and dethroned him. Even got Shakur's detention. Said yeah. nice knockout. Yeah, that was yeah. he laid it laid him flat out. But yeah, it's been there's been some some good performances. So who was your knockout of the year? <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe. Hey, yeah, knock, out, knock, out the, <laughs> knock out the like button yeah. on this video. Don't forget to hit the Make like button. Make sure you get all our updates, guys. We really appreciate yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Uppercut, uppercut that, that notification. And, yeah, so. and, and, and make sure you comment, share this with your friends. Tell um, them Anthony said hi. Unbelievable. Yeah. But performance, it got to be Jermel, man. And, and yeah. I know I know Bam versus uh, Soren Visai. Vengeance right for Chocolatito. There. Yeah, right. But, but, yeah, but, the Rat King. But um, I mean, if you want to know what, you want to look up boxer puncher performance yeah. in 22, it was Jermel Charlo. I had, so I think the, not that it was that lengthy of a performance or like that surprising of a performance, but you mentioned Inoue and Donaire. And I was just so happy about that because Nonito didn't have to fight him. And everyone was like, oh, I don't know. He gave him a hard time, hard time the first time they fought. He was he's got, the first he's round. got this. No, he was not winning the first <laughs> round. He wasn't winning the first round and got dropped and then just got absolutely bombed out in the yeah. second round. Yeah. So it was like everyone, and then now everyone goes back. We have this, you know, history, revisionist history where we go back and go, oh, well, he knocked out Nonito. He's old. Well, wait a second. You were <laughs> building him up a minute ago when he had these knockouts and he has this little resurgence. So no, you give the monster his credit. He hammered him out of there, and that was it. He whooped up on Ubali and brought the glamour belt to the fight. He had the green belt. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. Still got to have some juice in the tank to have the green belt. Absolutely. Yeah. There, there's been, and then and I know you mentioned, you guys both said, you know, women's boxing really delivered, but Baumgartner Mayer was, was a good fight. Yeah. Um, Shields and Marshall was all action. I thought both were comfortable victories for Baumgartner and Shields. I thought Baumgartner edged it, but she won the fight, but I thought that was 6-4. I thought yeah. Shields was was pretty Shields, pretty yeah, dominant dominated. against yeah. Marshall, yeah. Yeah, so we'll see what we'll see what builds in 2023. Hey, question about the uh Baumgartner uh Meyer fight. How, yeah. How do you, who who you had winning? I, I got I got had Baumgartner okay. edging it out. I had Baumgartner. Yeah, I, as did I. All right, I just want to make sure because she said everybody. <laughs> I think up here, I think we yeah. all had six yeah, four. But I know, yeah. but Mayor's out here wild and talking yeah. about nobody. <laughs> and on, and I saw that, and I actually would be happy. I saw that they said Savannah Marshall is going to try to get a re, rematch, like initiate yeah. a rematch clause with with I'm Clarissa. There for that. I don't want show the champ the money, and you could get it. Yeah, right. and <laughs> but I don't I don't love, and I know Savannah mentioned at St James's Park in Newcastle. I don't want. Clarissa would have to go back over there unless she wants to. Yeah, unless the no, money's right. Show the champ the bring money. Here. But if the yeah, money's the same, it out here. if the money's the same or the money's close, <sighs> take it to Michigan, wherever in Michigan, nah. take it there. And you get. can't do that in Michigan ever. Why not? I don't think she do does. Do it in Michigan. Well, maybe Carson, maybe. is it a thing where sometimes it's, a, it's even a little bit bigger than the money? Something like, even if, yeah, if, you like, could, if it's close, yeah. if it's comparable. If it's close, right. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. you know, the value you're getting and the moment you're getting, you get to do it in front of your, your home fans. She more than deserves the fight at yeah. home. But I, yeah. I like the rematch because I, I don't think, again, I, I don't think it was that close of a fight, but that was all action start to finish. I love the rematch because I think Savannah comes a little bit different. Uh, sometimes it just gets you, you know, kind of getting those, the, the getting in the ring and, you know, like getting in the pool, you get your feet in, get wet a little bit, and then the next time you come back around, you're ready to jump all the way in and do yeah. what you got to do. So I think that the rematch will be a better fight. Maybe right. it wasn't until the second half of the fight she realized she belonged. Exactly. And yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. We are waiting on our guest. He called hey. in, and then he bounced out. So what we just question. waiting. Question. Would you have taken, I ain't going to count your pockets, but I'm going to throw it out there. <laughs> 
Would you take him five hundred k to fight in uh, Cleveland? It depends on what what on point in my career. Right. Formella and like, the opponent like, too, right? Like, what about Formella? Like uh, I right, make right. more than that fighting Formella, but yeah, hell yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, no, 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 no. we're just saying like yeah, between like Earl and uh, well, I don't know between Ugas and Earl. Let's go. Yeah, you don't, I don't just know to, what the hell you're talking about. So we're gonna go to our our. <laughs> uh, our guest. <laughs> you want to fight at home? Dude. I don't know what you're saying to me right now, but we're going to go to our guest. He's putting the heat on me. <laughs> oh, uh, so you made more than 500000 Coming right? to the Port Away podcast. What? There he is. Oh, the man. There he is. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, AB. Uh, hey, can we negotiate right now? Uh, my name is Anthony Brunow, so it's an AB. Uh, how much would you sell the uh, initials for? I need that. I'm never selling it. God, this, this nigga. This nigga. Hey, B, what's good with you, nah. man? How you feeling, boss? What up, Sean? What's good? What's up with it? You told me you was uh, you was at the gym. What's going on with you? Shit, I'm chilling. I'm, I'm, I'm watching these damn Bengals blow the money. Yeah, you know how I go. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I <didn't come> through. <laughs> no, nah, but I mean, like, on, on the fight tip, you told me you was at the gym training. You've been working hard. What's next? Ah oh, man, I've been working my ass off, man. Um, I got uh the, the type of contract I got, man. They ain't giving out nowadays in this in, in this sport of boxing. Yeah, you know uh yeah these guys these guys is taking these tough ass fights, getting that small ass money, man. They didn't gave me, man. I'm just blessed. I'm just blessed. Yes, and, uh, sir. I, I'm thankful and um I, I'm ready to put on the show. You got red cash in what February? Yeah, February. Oh, they got you red cash. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, in, in Atlanta. Yeah. I didn't know. I had no clue who they were gonna match you up with. Yeah, you fought in Atlanta, Atlanta. before, right? No. Oh, it's first, your first time. time. You seen yeah. what Tank did down there? Man, Tank shit went crazy. Yeah. Hey, hey AB, it's Black History Month too, bro. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw it out there. Hey, 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 it's gonna be crazy. Everything, everything right. Who you got bringing you out? Surprise, man! I, you know, I can't. Uh, I know. I just thought, <laughs> thought you were gonna drop it on us. I'm, I, I'm happy you're back, man. Man, you, you're one of they. They know. Hey, this is, hey, this there, is your biggest there, fan. There's fighters. This is your biggest like, fan. Like, hey, but you know, there's athletes that you're just gonna defend forever. Man. Like that's just your guy. You're my guy. Right. <laughs> yeah. You're my guy. So anytime <laughs> AB comes up. I'm I'm always room for you, so I'm I'm glad I'm glad you're smiling, man. I hope you're feeling well. Ah uh, man, hey man, I, I will not let you down uh, in February, brother. Always, AB I always say when a fighter uh, at, at at our point in our you know or your point in your career a little bit further along than you know everybody else, there's always something that needs to be done a little different than you've done previously. So, what is it that you're doing different now that you hadn't been doing before? Um, cutting out and weeding out a lot of the things that I really didn't need. You know, you know, you don't need the beer. You you would know. You don't need you, the beer. You, you will understand. You don't need the beer because, huh? You don't need the beer. Going to cut. Nah, chill, chill, chill. <laughs> nah, <laughs> he nah, said, I, I never want to see my chin again. <laughs> no, <laughs> but but I'm saying, in 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 our sport, and when you get to this type level. You let so much things just ride on, even though if it's really not good for you or, you know, so, so what I, what I did, I'm like, man, fuck everything. This time around it is, is it's strictly about me and my family. And, and that's the way I'm going at it. And um, everything been going great. That, and that's what I'm talking about right there. Just a, a simple change in the mindset kind of sets the temp, the temp, the tone and the tempo for everything and else. How'd, how'd you end up with BLK Prime? That kind of came out of nowhere for a lot of people. Uh, it was crazy. Uh, shit. Soon. Well, well, I got a coach who's just, just not a coach. You know, you know, Kevin Cunningham, you know, he, he he's more than just a coach and, uh, things was going on in boxing or PBC and all, you know, so, so, so from the inside, from the inside, you can see things going on and things is getting shady. So it's like, all right, now it's time to go find some more, some different money. Yeah. So, so, so 
he made a call that's, and that's, and three and in three days it happened. That's what I say about uh Coach Cunningham. He's one of those coaches out there that actually earns their paycheck. And I'm not knocking any coaches yeah. out there, but there's some coaches that go above, beyond, do way more than what's required to make sure that their fighter is happy, make sure that their fighter is taken care of. And, uh, you know, from day one, Coach, is all, Coach Cunningham has always treated us like that. So I'm happy to hear that. Yeah, 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 yeah. He went, he, 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 he was like, man, because what they was trying to do, he wasn't, he, he's not a coach that would just sit back and be like, all right, I, I take this because I got to take this. He's like, oh, hell nah. Yeah. You, 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 you ain't got to take that. Not in your, you, you, in a, you still in a great spot in your career. And they, and they ain't moving you right, so we we gonna do something that fit more for you, and that's what he did. And BOK Prime came along, and they man, they set you off, man. You you look happy too, man. I'm happy for you. Yeah, it, yeah. And on that, I mean, just think, just think, right? You get a guy, right? No, no disrespect to Al and PBC and and and, and um, Espinosa and them, but they like all right. The type money you want, you got to go in there and fight Godzilla. But mm -hmm. we going to pay you, but you got to fight Godzilla. Then you got a guy like, all right, we'll pay you triple of that. And you can pick whoever the fuck you want to fight. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah. Go ahead, Zatel. What? What? <laughs> That's unheard of. It, you, you feel and, like... Go, keep going. And well, well, hold on, wait. There's more. <laughs> and uh oh, uh oh. See, see, this is what this is what people don't know. I'm gonna let it out the bag because uh -oh. this is my nigga Sean. I love uh, Sean. Exclusive, exclusive. Where, where? So this is what people don't see. And you get forty percent of your pay per view buys. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I heard about that. What? I heard about that. Yeah. What? Yeah. I heard of. People don't understand, but. That's on another note. Go ahead, Zatel. I was I was gonna ask about something hey, else, hey, but hey, then he, <laughs> hey, hey, guess what, Sean? Uh -oh. Hold on, Sean. Uh -oh. <laughs> and then and then another another thing is not only you get forty percent, but you get forty percent on that Monday. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Not not no six months. We gotta wait till the till the numbers come in. Not no eight eight. Not no year. Yeah. I'm familiar. Monday. I'm familiar. That's what's up. Hey, Adrian, so by Wednesday, everything clear. My boy hyped about hey, it, Everything's too. clear by Wednesday? I, look at him. <laughs> okay. Look at him. <laughs> <you. laughs> look at him. <you. laughs> hey. Hey. Man, I can't wait. Hey, hey B, I was going to ask you about something totally different <laughs> than that, but now, now I kind of want to follow up on that and appreciate you being so honest with us about the situation. Um, hey. <laughs> with uh first of all do you think that kind of business model you know it's good in the beginning will that be able to be uh sustainable that and then his with, problem and that then with, his problem. and then his problem huh and his problem it's not no hell no it's not his problem, his problem. get your money yeah but I'm, it, I'm just it's asking. not my problem i know i'm gonna do my job yes sir and right. um as long as i do my job everything gonna be good man yeah and, and just on that with uh you know you Fighters want to be more active. Fans want to see a more active. What's the compromise that's got to be made between the fighters and the pro? What do the you know? What do the fighters got to do to make it happen? What do the promoters got to do to make it happen? Man, first of all, the fighters got to get a real promoter. Cause, 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 cause I ain't put like and like I said, I don't want to down talk Al Heyman and the way he runs his business because he changed my life. Because even Eddie forever, and Bob, they're, but, they're top guys, only fight twice a year too. You know, so it's it's across but, the but, sport. But, the, what they doing to the what they doing to to, the, to us fighters is fucked up. Like you got to think, Charlo is a is a he's a unified world champion. He ain't fought in eighteen months. All mm. the, like these are good years off their career that they they can be busy. And it's like I go get a deal where I'm fighting three times in one year, guaranteed eight figures. Like unheard of. Hey, Ab, is it is it my problem if uh, coming from a fighter's perspective? If I'm making, let's say, $5 million, and like you said, I could fight whatever, and you want to pay me less to fight a killer, at the end of the day, it's about taking care of my family and, family and friends and, and people like that. Is You know, the, the, the fans going to be upset, but at the end of the day, is it about taking care of you first? Man, hey, hey, 
in this boxing thing, what a lot of people don't know, this the loneliest sport in the world, man. Mm-hmm. Like, like we we the only ones that really got to deal with all of the real, all of the real problems. Like, yeah. once that door closed, nobody there behind you. Mm-hmm. You the only one walking in that ring. You the only one taking these shots. You the only one cutting this weight like this. You the only like, it's the, boxing is the loneliest sport in the world. And I can see why guys like like a Sean Porter was like, all right, fuck this shit, I'm done. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't did this. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, cause you got to think, fighters like us, we started six, mm-hmm. six to eight to, you know what I mean? For the and, and for the rest of our lives, we just beating our body down, beating our body down every day, boxing, boxing, boxing from sun up to sundown. It's all year round. You really don't get no breaks. Until you really make some money, and by the time you make some real money, you you grown. So so, <laughs> like man, boxing is a crazy sport. How much longer you think you got in the game, man? Honestly, if if I if I do if I do right, well, once I do right, I know I'm gonna do right because uh, I ain't I ain't fucking this up, but. After these three fights, I can be done with boxing for good, bro. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I think one thing about you, about you, Adrian, is we all see greatness in you, bro. And we just we sometimes we get frustrated because you was the one. You was everybody. Everybody gave you everything. After Floyd, it was Adrian Broner, man. I had random mother because telling me, hey, "Hey, you ever seen Adrian Broner?" I'm like, "How the hell you know Adrian Broner?" <laughs> like, man, he the next yeah. one. Still adjusting but the fans. Have you have you realized? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, do, <laughs> do not you you still got a chance to get, grab that, bro? Don't let this moment go. Do you, are you realizing that yet, man? Man, I don't under I don't think y'all understand what I'm telling y'all. <laughs> my, my my next fight he, he uh-huh. is Red Cash. Okay. My next fight is Red Cash. Uh huh. I will be champion in my next two fights, man. Okay. Okay. At what weight? I'll just ask the question. At what weight? 40. Okay. okay. Come on now. Okay. So reach us. And that's a and hold that's on. a that's a decent Adrian hold Broner song, hold by the way. 40. Go ahead and stream that. Hold on, hold on, Adrian. <laughs> hold on, Adrian. Oh, what's a, what's the champ you want down there? Might be Regis. What's the champ you want down there? The first, I want Regis, of course. Okay. Get him on out the way. And then I'm gonna just just knock them all off. I'm about to, I'm about I'm, I got to be un, uh, undisputed before I'm done with this shit. Come on now. Bro, if Adrian Brona come back and go, I'm going I'm to cry. Hey, I get, that shit got me emotional. Use. Hey, that'll be the greatest story ever, AB. You got it in you, bro. The talent is there. You yeah. know you got it. Let's, hey, yeah, for yo, sure. let's end this interview right there. My man, AB, you, 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 you have continued to rewrite your own story. Mm-hmm. You know, and you know, we go all the way back. So I know where your story started. My man It's taking a whole lot of turns. You sent me your trailer. I know it all, man. Continue to write that story, big dog. We more than likely going to be wherever we need to be to, to check you out, doing your thing on BOK Prime. Hey, and AB. Happy ten year uh, anniversary on that Demarco performance, man. That was that was one of the best. <laughs> love, love. That that was one of the best performances of the 2010s. You were you were Adrian Tony that night. You were like half James <laughs> Tony, half Adrian Broner. So I hope that's what we see in the Red love, Catch fight, y'all. man. Hey, Merry Christmas, big dog. Yeah, Enjoy man. your family, man. Love on your family and stay safe. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year to y'all too. Man, stay Thank blessed, man. Merry stay Christmas, happy, AB. bro. Stay happy, man. Keep smiling, bro. <laughs> Facts. Man, that's the happiest I've seen. Yeah, him man, in years. that was a good yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I'm yeah. happy to see him. Like, man, we would we would come up to him with the cameras at the fights. He was always cool to us, but he would look at us and go, "Hey, guys, fuck boxing." <laughs> yeah, that's what he would say. Those yeah. were fuck yeah. boxing. I don't. And now that I haven't seen him, you know, that enthusiastic about the sport in years. There's so. there's a lot, of, and he's he said it. And he alluded to it. I don't know what fighter is gonna actually say it. And I'm sure he's gonna end up saying it at some point. But there's just. Things that we go through that y'all don't know about. It could be the family. It could be training. It could be a, a, a problem with within the team. Uh, it could be a problem with the business. And it's still we still haven't gotten the right contract the way we wanted to look. The whole nine, man. And and so when he's when he's always like f boxing, it's because he he knew. And I'm gonna just go ahead and say he knew at some point he was gonna feel like boxing was effing him. And that's why he was just like, F boxing. Because at some point, it's going to F me. 
And and I've dealt with it long enough to know he's in a position now with BOK Prime. Has they they're they're brand new. They're doing things the way they want to do it, and they've structured the deal for him in a way that can make him smile. And the only thing we can hope hope for is he stays focused, he stays locked in, and he goes in the ring. He puts on a performance against Red Kish. I think Red Kish is a little over the hill, but I think he can still um, compete. Here's the interesting thing about Red Kish. I think if you give him hope, he'll do even more. So I don't think he'll come to the ring turned up. But if AB gives a, a reason to turn up, yeah. he will turn up. So they didn't go down by a fake yeah. body shot. Yes. Okay, I thought Same I was guy. tripping. Yeah, that's him. Okay. Against Regis, matter of fact. Oh man, AB get on his ass. AB text love, bro. You my guy. I appreciate that. That's man. the guy, man. Yeah, man, yeah and, guy. and again, my question for him about you know the sustainability. That's just a question for you know the whole sport always going sure. forward. So that's always how do you know how do we. Get guys like like Ennis to fight more, you know, get him opportunities to fight more than once a year. Even, even you know, like he was even everybody at the most, except for Canelo, he fought twice this year. But yeah. the most any star fights in the sport is just twice a year. Once, and, twice and, if, if you can make it And happen. I feel like three times is the sweet spot. And I don't know how we get there. Maybe, maybe it's you take this much for this level of fighter. And you yeah. take, you know, this much for this, you know, yeah. and. You get you get in three. I don't know. I think but. the three times is the sweet spot. Yeah. I think four, depending on how those fights go. Uh, if you're if you are a Deontay Wilder and you're sleeping guys like that in the first second round, something like that. Yeah. Uh, for um, uh, Frank Martin last night, twelve was it twelve round twelve, or 10? Round, 12. 12, 12 round fight like like first he had he last 12. night, it, and he was very dominant through those twelve rounds. Yeah. yeah you are looking at you should have three performances like that, but then you got to find the right opponent. To continue to move, I mean, it's 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 a whole thing. You know, you know, you know the BS. And speaking of drunk, I just have one Christmas wish for boxing. This is my one New Year's Christmas wish in 2023. If Crawford and Spence can't, Terrence and Errol can't come to terms and fight each other, then I want you two to play paper rock scissors, and whoever loses or wins, have it your way, has to fight Jerron Ennis. Mm. I like it. Mm. That's that's Mm. where I'm at with it. What's what's your wish? for uh, boxing in 2023. Uh, leave me the hell alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh uh, basically stop asking you to come back? Yeah. Oh. Like, okay, okay. I'm not mad at Just that. Just no, I stay oh. ready. No. Oh, God. He does not stay ready. He, his hips are destroyed. His pants are tight. And his muscles are underwhelmed. and destroyed. I mean, I just it's wish one uh, hip. women women boxing maintains this uh, momentum. Yeah. Uh, just keep going up. Keep giving popularity. And just keep supporting women boxing, man. I guess mine would just be, I, w- I would like to see what Inouye can do at 122. <laughs> Fulton. Yeah, Fulton, he came back there. You, yeah. he'll Fulton, be he'll be much. MJ. The hell? Yeah, but Fulton, if he could be Fulton, number one pound for pound. Yeah, mm-hmm. and if and if he's not already, and if he can't be Fulton, he's still a top five pound for pound. Yeah, I feel absolutely. like that one. That'd be the ultimate test. That's season. such a good fight. It is such a good matchup. We have a special guest. No more. No. No more uh, today. No biggie. Uh, we definitely gonna do the motivational message, and then we are gonna get up out of hey, here. Hey, hey, what, 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 hey, can you get your shoe off? You take your shoe off? Yeah. yeah hey, everybody take their shoe off. Why? Hey, man, who y'all think got the cleanest uh, shoe game? I'm looking under there. I'm last. I'm last. Man, everybody put their shoe on the table. Oh, everybody put oh, their I shoe. can't do that when it's got gum on it. Okay, everybody <laughs> put their shoe on the table. Oh, that's nasty. Hey, look at Carson. Oh, no, I might got Carson. Dude. I might got Carson. I got the Crocs. Oh, reliable, Hey, hey look at it. Hey, swag now uh-huh. right here. Uh-huh. I'm about to go with, I'm about to go with Zytel. Hey. Right, oh, here we go. I'm, I'm, I'm here a we little go. more exclusive than Zatel. Yeah, yeah, he is. Oh, more just, original. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Just, why are you moving in yeah, this usually, stuff? I mean, why are you wearing just make, just, Yeah, making I sure mean, y'all really I'm matching. To, you know, be fair, hey, 10 times back. out of 10, I would have Crocs on. Yeah. Okay. But I just happened today. Y'all both had Crocs on yeah. and shorts yeah. yesterday. Got the Rick, the Rick Flair, hey, Dame Lillard's. Is that what you think we will be wearing underneath? Like, and like you, that's Ant with the Crocs. Zatel with the with the kicks, with the J's. Sean, I don't even know what those are. They don't even know if we have pants on under here. They came. The, Listen, the, this the, the desk blocks it. We might we might not even have pants on. But yeah, man. Hey, uh, thank you guys, man. You know, I always have fun every Sunday. It's like a reset for me. Come out here and do it with y'all. You know, pros and cons. You know, sometimes I don't know about y'all. Sometimes wifey's not happy. I'm leaving the house. I don't know how y'all. How y'all? I know. So yeah, you just you know, it, it pros and cons of that. But you know, it's a reset. Hang out, with my boys and. We we innocent. We ain't doing that. We just talking boxing. Yeah. So I'm like damn, man. And, and motivating people. Yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, but we're going out of town next a couple weeks. Out. I'm yeah. in trouble. And then, yeah. And then, I'm in trouble. Yeah. yeah, and enjoy this now because next time you see the show, yeah. it's going to be these two again. But <laughs> now nah, they're um, going to come back though. These I'm just guys. thinking of the uh, yeah. I, I mentioned end of the year thing. Albums of the year. People always ask about music. 
Okay. Forever Story, GID, Cheat Codes, Black Thought, Danger Mouse, Herbert by Al- Absol, probably my top few. Okay. You are a cultured man. Yeah. Rome Streets, Kiss the Ring. But yeah, I'm, 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 my wife said yesterday because he was he was oh, and King's di- some song. And King's Disease 3. My nah, wife said Escobar. Carson Hood. <laughs> he was bouncing the Bootsy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That <laughs> Bootsy song. Yeah, you had to. Yeah, you had to get down even Frank, that. Even Frank family got hyped with Carson. Yeah. It's, it's, okay. in, it's in his soul, too, Sean. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, not. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. simple, just simple moves. Yeah. Stay in your lane. Motivational message before we get up out of here. Okay. Um, and especially next time y'all see us, we'll, we will be in the new year. So Merry Christmas to all y'all. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy New Year to all y'all. And um, if if I can give y'all anything to go into the new year with, I'm gonna give you something personal. A lot of the a lot of the motivational messages are personal anyway. I don't know if y'all recognize that, but um, this one is definitely personal. I've been going through some things. And um, wound up in church today, and the message today was about um, love and loving people the way God intends us to love, not the way we interpret love. Um, So the few things, um, number one, what we call it in the Christian world, if I if if I should how I don't even know how to say that. Um, Spiritual, yeah. In the in the spiritual world, we say we are having a wilderness experience. For some of us, that may be mentally we're lost. Emotionally, we may be a little weak. Uh, something is is just heavy on our heart, and, and we can't get past it to just do the, the normal things we do day to day. Um, the wilderness experience could be, you know, a, a woman that you're attracted to, but you shouldn't be with her. It could be a man that you're attracted to. You shouldn't be, whatever the case may be. When you're going through a wilderness experience, based on my personal experience, what I hope you guys do is just reach back and find love and pull on that love. And this is what I got from church today. God expects us to love one another through patience, through faith, and through um, diligence. That to me is the combination that creates the kind of love that will get you through anything. And um, the word, the other word that I've learned so much about in the last couple of weeks is grace. Uh, you think when you tell somebody that you forgive them, that's showing grace. You think that when you move on and you try to forget and move forward, that's 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 grace. You guys, uh, I encourage you all to explore that word grace, because when you have a moment where you are just acting out of love, that is true grace. When you are yelling and I love you and, and I'm not going to, that's not the kind of grace, um, even for yourself. When you are getting down on yourself, you you just that interview didn't you didn't get the call back and you get down on yourself. Give yourself grace. When you mess up in school and, and you got sent home, uh and you 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 can't go go to school for a couple of days and you're down on yourself, whatever the case may be, show yourself grace. And I know we got a lot of kids that watch this as well. Grace, love, patience, diligence, all of that. Y'all have a blessed holiday. Bless New Year, and we will see y'all soon. This is the Portaway.